Hey, what is happening, folks? It is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you another episode on this glorious day of the good, the bad, the awesome, where we unbox, give my first reaction to all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, anime figures, and McFarlane figures sprinkled in with a little bit of everything else. So if you like that stuff, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you don't like it, Hit it anyway, I don't care. Uh, so we're on our way to that 5,000 by the end of the year and so we still have that 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So don't forget about that. Also, I have created a new support system and all that good stuff so that if you wanna support the channel, you can uh, become a member, all that good stuff, blah, 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 blah. But today, I'm excited because we have another battle of versus, a mono a mono to see which one comes out top. I, I don't know why I call them battles. It's more, instead of just saying, hey, we got a comparison between two kinds of, Two of the same figures from two different companies i think it sounds better battle you know it's a rumble in the jungle you know whatever it may be you know it's apollo creed versus rocky or it's uh rocky versus rocky in this case and so we're going to take a look at two uh figures from one piece and we're going to look at rono azoro yeah the sh figure arts version and the anime heroes version and we're going to tell you which one is for who and which one you should go with i could probably tell you you should go with this one but they're at different price points so what are they how are they let's find out together let's do it they're here on my desk and ready to come out of the boxes. Yes, from One Piece, Roanoa Zoro, striving to be the best swordsman in the world. If you don't know much about One Piece, it is currently the run longest running active anime that is out there. There is a lot, and I just started it. I'm on episode five, and I love Roanoa Zoro, and so I was like, I gotta get this figure. I gotta get these guys, and I know I've got a long way to go, and if you've watched the Netflix version, it's pretty cool, cool but the anime version is awesome, voiced by Christopher Sabat. Uh, Roanoa Zoro, like I said, he is striving to be the best swordsman uh, out there. He's part of the Straw Hat crew, and ready to do what it takes to go on the grand line and find the one piece with luffy <laughs> so uh but i've got the anime heroes one and the sh figure arts one and um there's a distinct difference between the two but they're two two different types of people and so we're going to look at take a look at both of them look at the articulation look at the figure look at all the things you get with it and which gives you most bang for your buck and which one you should go with so this one right here anime heroes it starts at 20 bucks i got this at walmart for about 20 dollars uh, on this one, SH Figure Arts Rono Azoro got him for $65. Uh, so you can tell there's a $40 difference in these figures here. So, um, and then with this, you can kind of see the artwork. This has more of the anime uh, artwork there on the side, on the back. See all the other different figures. I need to get all the rest of them too as well. I need to do a battle with with uh, Luffy and with Sanji. Uh, I know there's a SH Figure Arts of either one of those that is out right now. I do have a Shanks uh, right now too as well. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, but yep, yeah, just really to the anime, these are figures that are made for the masses. These are figures that are made for the collectors. So right here, you can kind of see the toy a little bit of the foreshadowing made by Bandai. Very, very uh, nice company. Actually, Bandai makes both of these. Uh, so, but there's there's just a big difference. This has four plus as the age on this. This one's about 15 plus as the age on this, I think. Yeah, so for ages 15 and over, uh, for ages, not for ages zero to three. So if you're four, you can play with this one. If you're 15, uh, you can play with this one. If you're under either of those, between those ages, uh, I don't know what to tell you. But you got all this stuff. And what's cool is you get an extra Luffy face in here. So when you do get the monkey, uh, the Luffy uh, SH figure arts figure, you have a face that you can uh, have for him there. So I'm excited. I can't wait to do this. And, uh, and I see here you can actually do the, the famous pose with the three swords, which is going to be pretty wicked awesome. Uh, so I can't wait to do that. But let's do this. Let's get these out of the box and uh, get it onto my table. Thank you. 
here they are both out of the box and onto my table with all of their stuff that you get everything that comes in the box and you can kind of see the difference between the two already uh, especially when it comes to the color now to be fair this one right here from sh figure arts it's the raid on Onagish onagashima uh, i think that's how you pronounce it i don't remember i know i'll get butchered in the com comments about it but that's that one so different outfit the versus the green one now i believe sh figure arts has one with his green outfit but it is more expensive because it is out of circulation out of print uh on that so uh but here they are um what you can see what you see is what you get uh so let's start with the anime heroes of course you do get the figure um you get uh the sword this sword right here that's just a you know sword in its scabbard here's the sword right here you get a purple sword and let me just show you i know some of you are like let me show these a little cl closer but uh that is this one there there's the purple i like the purple one it looks cool and of course the white sword which was his uh his friend on that and then of course the black blade right there very nice then you get two more scabbards here very very cool and you get these hilts that fit in these scabbards right there so that way you can have it kind of there on that uh, i wish they came with actual scabbards that you can put the swords in and then you also get two additional hands right there so um that's what you get with the anime heroes one with the sh figure arts one you get a lot of stuff uh so you get uh let's start with the swords and so here is the purple one don't know if you can kind of see the detail there very nice detail you know the better quality already from this it's a harder plastic versus this soft and malleable plastic on this one here uh then you have this sword here it's got the black and purple very nice i love the the, the hilt uh and of course his friend's sword right there that's awesome love it love it love it and then the swords that are all three together that you can have him holding uh well not holding but you can have them in the place where they need to go uh that's at the swords and then we get to the hands and you get two sets of hands there we go very nice you get another head which has the mouth piece open so you can you know do the whole uh you know that whole thing there's actually a place that you can fit that in the mouth and it's supposed to just kind of fit in there there we are so if you want to do that that's cool uh you also get uh this face to use with the hair and so there is that one here's the luffy face another face that you can put the sword in or an actually yelling face i don't know if you put the sword in that one uh and then a smiling face right here so you get a lot more accessories of course with the uh, figure arts figure uh but that's because you're paying for that you're paying top notch premium dollars you should get a lot more stuff 20 bucks you, st you get a lot of stuff for 20 bucks i mean you get star wars figures that only have a gun and you're paying about 18 dollars whereas this you get a whole lot more and a whole lot more articulation than most star wars figures so not knocking anime heroes at all uh because it is directed towards a different crowd versus the sh figure arts now uh i've had more experience with sh figure arts so i know what to expect with them uh when i first did my first like gojo battle that was like my second sh figure arts figure maybe my first one and it was just like i was just in shock and awe i was like this thing's awesome uh so but let's take a look here closely at the anime heroes one and already one of the things that that i don't like that much is the glare on the face uh the now the facial expression is really nice i like it now it has a lighter green hair than the the one right here uh from s from sh figure arts but there we go you can tell this is rono uh on this the green outfit's pretty nice um and then you've got let's just kind of just go up you have a scar 
that's kind of cool. Whereas the SA, this one actually, I, I like how this looks. It doesn't have the black. Uh, it has, it's more of a, just a natural color. Uh, then of course his thing. And then this is where the swords, where you can hold the swords, uh, right there in their scabbards. Uh, and then of course the rest of the outfit, uh, here and there's the back. And so we'll just kind of give you a rotisserie kind of view there front side back side front there it is and then from a height standpoint uh, what you're looking at is about six and a half inches uh, for the anime heroes one uh, so before we get into articulation let's take a look at the figure arts figure I'm gonna bring that one in closer and already what I love about these if it has a premium more premium feel uh, to it and then of course the matte face you don't get the glare like you do on the anime heroes it's got the more lime green hair and um, as I was saying, the scar is more of the black and the black, uh, like with the, the stitches and things like that too as well. Uh, but I like the black outfit. That's really, really nice, really cool. I love how it pops. Uh, but this is overall kind of what he looks like. So from the front, from the side, and here, it's where you stick the swords, uh, the back, the side, and the front again uh, but look at that i don't know if you can see the hair there that looks cool on that um but yeah i love i mean the details on either one of them uh you can kind of see here and well before i bring him back in i forgot to measure this guy so this guy here stands at about six inches so the anime hero one is a little bit about a hair taller about a half inch taller uh than this one but you can kind of see just the, the difference between the two uh right there from a color standpoint now, if you had 20 bucks, this is gonna be great. If you had $65 or $70, do you go with like multiple figures here or do you get one really good quality figure? That's all up to you. Now, if you're like a completionist and like really like to get the entire Straw Hat crew, go with Anime Heroes. But if you want just some really quality figures and things like that, SH Figure Arts is gonna be the way to go. Uh, but there they are from the front. There's the side profile. This side profile got the earrings in there, and then let's do it like it, like like if they're getting ready to UFC fight. What's up? What's up? I'm getting ready to fight myself. Yeah, I'm gonna fight myself. I'm the greatest swordsman. No, I'm the greatest swordsman. No, I'm the greatest swordsman. Uh, I'm the greatest swordsman. It's like the greatest show. Whoa! There we go. So, uh, and then the back here. The black outfit's awesome. I wish they had that for this one where I got the other one so that way you can do a true one-on-one -on -one comparison, but this will have to do uh, for right now. So let's go into articulation with the anime heroes. So you do get head bob and the neck. You do get movement in the neck there. Arm, you do come up. Uh, you do have the spin right there. You got this joint here too as well. So that's really, really cool. So you can really kind of get the, get him in some really gnarly poses. You got the spin here. Uh, you got the spin at the wrist. You got more than a 90 degree bend on the elbow. Uh, so you can get some really cool uh, poses and then the ball joint there. Uh, you do have a little bit of an ab crunch there and then you can 360. So I love the fact it's not connected to his outfit there. Now the tough part, now what they done, Anime Heroes, thank you. Put a little slit in the skirt so you can kind of get that leg out. And that's about as far as you can go. You can't really do uh, the Jean-Claude. You wanna kick it back. Uh, you can kick it back a little bit and you get a 90 degree bend there and then the foot you do have it's on a ball you don't get the the bend here at the foot to kind of really like you know do some cool gnarly poses and things like that but that's what you get there with anime heroes I do that's cool that they have that I don't think I don't remember if anime heroes has that I think so the jujitsu kaisen ones that I had uh, this foot is acting a little stupid so uh, I don't know if I have to just kind of bend that back into place or, or what, but it's acting like I got a little defect on his foot there. He's got a gimpy foot. So hopefully I can get that where it needs to go. Oh, did I just break it? I may have. Well, forgive me. Nope, I got it back into place, but it is now very loose. Looks like it kind of snaps back together there. Hopefully, there we go. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so no worries. He's uh, he still stands. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then let's get to the SH Figure Arts one here. 
And let's take a look at the articulation. So the head, you get all sorts of range of movement. And then the neck, you get the range of movement there too. So you can really get some really cool poses there. The arm, oh, popped it off. Let's get it popped back on. Pop it back on. Sometimes these are a little tough. Uh, got to pop back on. You get 360. Well, there we go. This is the one arm swordsman. So I'll just show you the arm here. You get this movement here. You get this movement here. And you get this movement here. Give me just a sec. Let me put his arm back on. Well, folks, arm back on. And to be honest with you, uh, this part's being recorded a week later. So what I found out was that one was defective out of the box. So I had to return it to Amazon, wait for a new one to come in, which was supposed to be in two days. And then we got snowed in with eight inches of snow. And so it took about Oh, a good seven to eight days for this to get to me. Now it's 64 degrees and sunny outside. So crazy weather here in the South, but uh, we got him back here, his arms back on. Uh, so let me bring him back in closer again, as we were going over articulation. We kind of went over the arm a little bit already, uh, just kind of the fight on, right? Fight the power. Uh, and then here, the legs, uh, you don't get quite a lot because this, his outfit, you gotta, I wish it split. Well, there it goes. Man, I am just breaking everything here, folks. Let me, let me get him back together. I'll be right back. Back together again. I, this, this figure I'm having some issues with right now. So, but knee, you do get the bend uh, there. You can't, if you can get it spread out, you can. Uh, you don't get much of a front kick or anything like that. So you gotta, you gotta be pretty, uh, Jack be nimble when it comes to posing this guy here. Um, foot, you do have the, the sw swivel here, and then of course the tilt uh, on that. So uh, there we go. And then I don't know if I showed you the waist. You do have ra waist rotation uh, on this. Now you do get a whole bunch more accessories. So again, difference between a $20 figure and a $60 figure. Uh, you know, they, they do include more accessories. It has a bit more fit and finish. However, mine is liking to pop off. Now here it gives you, for example, you get this extra little armband here, so you can pop that arm off, put this one on, and make that happen. You get extra hands, uh, you get the extra faces that I think we went over already. Uh, and then the one thing that I don't like is this new head right here. You can't pop this face off. So this is the only face you get uh, with this. So uh, comparative side to side, I mean, he's a little taller. But he's more polished. He's got more uh, articulation to him. And uh, just, yeah, absolutely. I wish I had the other version, like this this version of this guy. Uh, because, the, the, I mean, with the green suit and everything like that. So I can be true to true comparison. But still, you get the idea. You get the gist of it. Uh, so if you're a One Piece fan and you don't have a big budget, this is going to be good. If you do have a, a, a good budget, then you want to go this way. And there's even more expensive figures than this one out there that you can get that even has more articulation and things like that. Uh, so from a size standpoint, again, I don't know if I remember if I did this or not, uh, but yeah, six inches and six and a half on that. So let's bring in some other figures so we can compare them. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to get some swords in their hands and things like that too as well. All right, got him with some S words in their hands and in his case, in his mouth. Um, and that's one of the cool things I like about the figure arts one is you can put on this alternate head and he can have uh, uh, that sword that in, in his mouth and do the whole fighting with three swords where you can only fight with two and have the one put away uh, here. So that's, uh, but still, I mean, this isn't, this is not a bad figure. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think it looks really cool. And like, if you only have 20 bucks, by all means, get this one. But if you can swing it and you can swing a little extra money or find him on sale, like look on Macari or eBay, try to get him at a good deal. I would definitely maybe think about this one, but that's what they look like together with their swords in their hands. But let's bring in some other figures. Everyone except for one has a sword. So I do have a SH Figure Arts Sukuna right there. So, and I'm going to pull this camera back a little bit because we're going to be filling up this little roster here. We got good old Spawn. 
seven inch McFarlane right there. And then we're gonna bring in good old three points, three, you know, the three inch uh, Star Wars. And then six inch Black Series Star Wars coming up, coming at you right in the back there. Zoro, Balin Skull there. And then just recently did this review and I thought it would be appropriate to have a robot pirate in this review with uh, Thundertron right there. So that's how he looks scaled with uh, other figures there uh, together. And then how he looks with his other accessories and accessories to put uh, to put on and off. I mean, with anime heroes, you just got to pop on and off the hand. Um, with SH Figure Arts, you got to be a little bit more delicate because these joints are fragile and can break. So you want to make sure you're just a little bit more delicate with it. Uh, but overall, I mean, I think they look good. Um, sc again, scales well with the, um, I would say six inch McFarlane, uh, six inch, uh, black series and then the sh figure arts figures i don't think it'll scale well with seven inch mcfarlane or transformers or especially this little girl right here so um so let's do this let's get back together for my final thoughts on ronoa zoro together again for jimmy's final thoughts on ronoa zoro i should sing a pirate song right that's what we're, we're all about with one piece right uh, so jake and the neverland pirates <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all that. So let's bring them both back in. Here they are. So SH Figure Arts, Anime Heroes, just a closer look again. There he is. Pirate Hunter, Rodo Azoro. This is the raid on Ogun. I can't pronounce it, but this is that outfit on this one. This is the original one that we're all used to. So $20. I think I got him for $65. $20, $65. Now, if they were the same price, there is no doubt that this is going to be better. However, these figures are made for two different price point people, right? Uh, so, like, if I wanted my kids to play with something, I would probably get this one. Like, if me and my kids were watching One Piece together and I wanted to have action figures, I would go with this. If I was on a budget, but I love One Piece and I wanted to get me some good memorabilia, this one right here. However, if I wanted a good collectible figure uh, that, that looks really, really animation accurate and has some really good looks to it, then I'm going with this guy right here. Uh, if I, you know, if I could swing the extra budget and, and get that, uh, because what I love about this is, I mean, all the different, the, the different hands you get, the different faces you get, you even get an extra uh, Luffy face. So if you have the SH Figuarts uh, raid on Oga, Oga no, blah, 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 uh, you can get the, uh, if you got that Luffy version of that, you have extra faces. And you know what's great is Sanji comes with an extra face for Luffy as well, as well as some other figures that are getting ready to come out that they just announced, which is freaking awesome. Uh, and for, what's, what's funny is I've just started One Piece. I'm like 24 episodes in, and a lot of y'all are saying, oh, that's like just like taking a tablespoon of water out of the ocean right now. So, but I'm excited. I'm, uh, it's been, a, it's been really fun and I know they're remastering it. And, um, so that way they're kind of condensing some of it too as well. So I, I, I can't wait. I just have to watch it. So, uh, I've, once I, once my daughter got me hooked on anime, I'm hooked on it. And you know what? I, I'm so glad because I get to share that passion and that love with y'all. So on a scale of good, bad, awesome, this is, this is, this is a good figure. I mean, he's good to pretty awesome. You know, I, I would say that, especially for 20 bucks, you can't beat that. You get all the S words and you get all the other cool stuff with it. And he looks really cool. And you can actually, if you're a figure modder, you can kind of paint it up, make it look really cool. But on this one, a good, bad, awesome, I would give this a very good to pretty awesome. The main reason why is I, I just had some QC issues with mine. Uh, so that's what put it over that. That's what kept it from being awesome. The, the, uh, posability with the legs, it's a little finicky because of his, uh, his outfit. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, a pretty awesome on this one too. So, I mean, they're both really great figures and I think you'd really enjoy them. And I can't wait to review more one piece figures. We're going to have more one piece battles. I don't know why I call them battles. They're just comparisons between two figures to go, uh, who and what price point are these for? So, but that's what I like about these. And that's all I got to say about that. So in the meantime, uh, tune in next time when we talk about something else, good, bad, or awesome. And I know some of y'all are like, man, you have a different hat. You have a different thing on and everything. Yeah, this was one week later. Uh, but in the meantime, y'all remember, stay young, 
have fun and be awesome and enjoy one piece if you haven't started that yet what are you waiting for uh get ready to lose a big chunk of your life we'll talk to you later bye bye